Hello and welcome to Celebrity Silhouette. I'm here with Joe Zhabowska, who is Vice President and Managing Director, UK, Europe, Middle East and Africa for Celebrity Cruises. And we're here on the first sailing out of Southampton on a voyage around the British Isles. And this is the second morning and uh, it's all been very exciting. And there's been great feedback from the travel agents who visited it on Friday and the other travel agents who were enjoying the voyage and lots of key workers who are here as well and lots of passengers and loyal guests. So uh, tell us how it feels to be back on the water and how it feels to be uh, sailing again after such a long break. It's a wonderful feeling, it really is. Um, to you know, It's been 15 long months of being out of service. So to actually welcome Celebrity Silhouette back here to the UK, which is actually 19 months since Celebrity Silhouette was last here, it was a really, really special feeling. And when those first guests came on board, on Saturday morning, it was very emotional for, for the guests mm. and also for us and also very much for our incredible crew that are just so delighted to, to welcome our guests back. So couldn't be happier and the sun is shining. So what more could we want? And the, the ship's been revolutionised. So uh, tell us what's new. What's it been has. Revolutionized? We call it a celebrity revolution because we think the word makeover or facelift just isn't big enough for what we've done. So. Um, we on board now is the retreat area, which is our exclusive area for our suite class guests. So the sun deck at the top of the ship on uh, deck 15 really is quite stunning. Um, wonderful lounges, they've got their own bar there, they've got their own plunge pool there. We've got the retreat lounge that used to be Michael's Club uh, on deck 5, which has been completely, that has had a major facelift, um, very much with a Kelly Hopkins feel to it. Lume restaurant, uh, which is exclusive to our suite class guests. So those three areas are, are you know, very much uh, all included uh, and exclusive for our suite class guests. So that's one big thing that we've done. Uh, we've also the Sky Lounge, uh, which is the wonderful panoramic view, which gives you a fabulous view. Uh, and it's been wonderful seeing the British Isles with the sun shining on it. Um, uh, so that's had also, it's very light and bright and a great space. So lots of areas of the ship that we've had a complete uh, revolution, as we call it, during this time. And of course, with the, the pandemic still happening, there's various protocols on mm -hmm. board. Um, so so what, what do passengers need to, um, you know, to, who customers of agents, mm -hmm. what do they need to know about um, that's different on board from a, a pre-pandemic cruise? Well, there's a few things, obviously, at the moment. We've been working diligently with our Healthy Sail panel during this time. Uh, obviously, things have moved on a lot since the, since the last 15 months, but suffice to say, all of our guests and our crew are fully vaccinated. Uh, that's really important. We asked for 14 days since the last vaccination at the moment. Again, that could change over time. We also ask our guests to have a PCR test um, three day, up to maximum three days before they come on board. And for those of 17 and under, we're doing antigen tests uh, at the terminal. So that's the first thing from really making sure everything that we're doing is that all of our guests and crew are, are vaccinated. Then on board at the moment, we are wearing masks from the UK um, in public spaces. As soon as you're sitting down as we are now, um, at a restaurant, then uh, and you, you don't need to, clearly. You can enjoy our wonderful hospitality. Um, and we've got social distancing quite naturally by the fact that at the moment we're sailing with a maximum of a 1,000 guests, uh, but we're looking forward to that cap being lifted, um, which it is going to be, and we're looking probably at going up to 1,500 guests uh, as soon as we can. So those are the key things, really. But the most important thing, is that our guests still have the best kind of celebrity cruises hospitality and that's the feedback we're getting so far which is great and then yesterday we had uh, excursions in dover yes and then we're heading to belfast and liverpool so the the excursions are slightly different to pre-pandemic as yes well, that's the other key thing is that at the moment when people get off the ship they go in what we call what we call a bubble mm -hmm. so um they're not free-flowing naturally at the moment again we expect that that probably will change post July the 19th uh, but at the moment they're going uh, with uh, on a shore excursion and I have to say I've got off in Dover yesterday and visited the three castles and it was spectacular and that's what I'm looking forward to I can't wait to do the Beatles tour in Liverpool uh, you know I can't wait to go to the Causeway in Belfast so it's just you know appreciate it there's no better way to see the land than from the sea 
and to visit visit it with our shore excursions the guides are just great and then there's a wide ex- a wide range of different excursions in each destination aren't there there's, there's several different options to choose don't just do lots one. of different, different options lots, lots, lots of yeah. different options and we're very clear you know there's some walking options there's lots of different options and we're going we're building more all the time in fact from yesterday yeah. people have come back with some ideas and feedback yeah. from various things so we're constantly looking to how we make sure that we're offering such a variety throughout the season. And there's, we've had good feedback from the agents who are on the VIP day on Friday, and again, agents on board at the moment on this yeah. sailing. And there's so much for agents to talk about with their clients. Uh, you know, there's so many you know, right. new things, exciting things, lot, lots happening, and they can sell these now. I think the first three are sold out. C- correct. But there's correct. more availability for future sailings. Absolutely. And hopefully Absolutely. capacity will rise. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's really important to us the, the, the relationships with our trade partners and you know there's no better way to be able to sell with confidence than seeing is believing so um claire and the team have worked diligently to make sure that we've kept our trade partners updated with everything that's happening um and also to give many of them a chance to come on now as we will throughout the season uh, to experience the ship and to go back with even greater confidence and you're right so far uh, the feedback is wonderful and of course England getting through to the semi-finals <laughs> is an extra boost yes. um, and we're all going to be watching that on the lawn club probably or <laughs> in craft social yes. um, as we go through this week well, before then, we get to the finals yes, so yes. yeah there's so many venues you know they, they all have a different um, atmosphere you know for people talking about watching the football in the casino or by the lawn club or the theatre or there's there's so many different places for different activities and exactly. entertainment throughout the day yeah so and whatever kind of atmosphere you want you want it to be calmer and relaxed if you want more of a vibrancy there's so many different venues and the other incredible thing is the feedback we're getting about the entertainment mm. i mean the celebrity singers and dancers the talent of the musicians and the dancers and last night we put on the show live which is really emotional uh, with everything that's been going on at the moment and you know just around standing ovation just so well received so well received and we, we've got lots of lots of key workers on here because you had the giving back to yes. heroes <laughs> yeah we um a hundred state rooms went to our key workers we had over 1500 applications incredible stories they're all incredible worthy winners uh, we did a ballot and a hundred of them are on board we did a thank you for yeah. The uh, thank you National Thank You Day, um, and for it's the NHS's birthday this week. They're seventy three years old, and they're just so grateful and so delighted to 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 be on board with us. And the lovely Shirley Ballas, welcome them as well. She's on board as a guest with her fiance and uh, her mother, and she came on board uh, last night when we did our big thank you to the NHS workers to thank them as well. So the atmosphere is really buzzing, and you know we want all of the travel partners to know we're back. Uh, Sunday is finally here. As we say, the comeback will be stronger than the setback, and we're just delighted to welcome everybody on board. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's great to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.